long as possible, and then he'll set it down. That's the one right there. This is the one, by the way. He's going to land this two thing. You can see. Left. He's going. He's going to do a flyby on two six left. Check it out. That's him. That is him. It looks to me very much like the tire is blown out there, Tim. I can't get a good look at it. I know you, if you're looking at it, it looks to me like that front tire is blown out. Okay, so what you just saw there was the actual flyby. They fly by the tower, and the tower will give them an indication of what they believe is wrong with it. They can't diagnose it clearly, but it looked to us from our vantage point that it looks like the nose gear. You see the, see the rubber kind of hanging off the back there? It looks to us very much like that tire might be blown blown out. Now, that would be much better than what happened on the JetBlue because during the JetBlue emergency landing, that whole mechanism, that whole front landing gear was turned 90 degrees. So this, if it's just a tire blown out, would be an easier landing, we assume, for the pilots. Now, they will kind of confer with the tower and with the mechanics to find out the best way to land this thing. You heard them say they're doing a flyby on runway 26. Runway 26 is the direction of the runway. In other words, 26 stands for 260 degrees. Is the MD-80? It is flight 862. 132 people on board. For those who just joined us, that has a problem with the nose gear. We've been talking now for the past 45 minutes about this flight. It's been burning off as much fuel as possible, and our understanding is it is now ready to come in and land on runway 26 left. 132 people on board. It was it was supposed to go from West Palm Beach to yeah. Chicago. It was diverted after the pilot called in saying they did have a problem with the nose gear, and it was sent down to Miami International Airport, where it is now set to land. It was sent down there, as we have told you repeatedly, because of the emergency services, the vast emergency services as they have yes sir and here comes flight 862 landing on runway 20 uh, yeah. six left uh, it, it is, is on let's that listen way. that's much I can tell you Tim anything you can add while this plane's coming in yeah Trace I actually do want to add one really quick thing we're picking up a report that the cockpit light is indicating that the landing gear is down and locked that is a good sign we're working to confirm that but the report is that the cockpit light indicates that the landing gear is down and it is locked so we'll watch with you it's definitely a that's definitely looks like the one we saw earlier yep the landing gear's down the landing gear's locked and as we said, the plane will feather as much as possible and touch down. You can see kind of something. Right. The back wheels appear to be down. Looks like it held to me. So again, we have a round of applause here in the newsroom. The pilots did a spectacular job. We've kind of gone over this again. We, 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 we do this because it's the unknown. We have no idea what's happening. They called in with a nose gear problem, and it turns out to be an absolutely perfect landing, very routine. If you watched it with us, um, Peter Gomez, the former managing director of the